everyone and welcome to the Epoch tutorial series. This tutorial is on safe zones again. This is a new script that I personally wrote from the ground up by analyzing other safe zone scripts and taking basically what works and what doesn't work and what players want and enhancing all of it into a single file. So now you don't have to have two different files for cars and people. You also have anti-theft, you have all kinds of other options that are really nice to have for these zones. And usually you, you had some ones you wanted and some you don't, but now you have everything you need. Before we get started, I need to make sure everyone knows that this is built into the Epoch Admin Tools test branch. This branch isn't a live release right now, you can get it, and it does work. It's got a lot of new features that the normal Admin Tools don't have. If you don't know if you have the test branch installed or not, you most likely don't have it. This is because you have to actively go over to the test branch, change where you're downloading all of your stuff. The install is basically the same as the previous ones. It's really easy to do. All you need to do is download. And now that it's downloaded, you can just drag it over to your desktop. And of course, the link to this is in the description below. And as always, you need to extract the files. So now we've got all the safe zone files that we need. And then you're going to have to come over to your epoch server. Go to your MP missions, your map, whichever one you're using. This should work for every map. The left side here is what's inside the safe zone download. The right is the server. So as you can see, there's a custom folder. If you already have one, then you can just copy it over. If you don't already have it, again, just copy it over. It should ask you to, it shouldn't ask you to override or anything. If it does, you can easily just go in and transfer it. <clears throat> but as you can see, the safe zone here came over. If you have the previous safe zone installed, like I still do, you can remove these two, the safe zone cars and safe zone commander. That was built off of the old AGN safe zone commander system with an added safe zone for the vehicles. So now we have our only one safe zone system in there. And that's it for the downloaded files. You can actually close that. And then we need to come back over to our GitHub here and go back to the, the MP missions for our map here. Open up the init. Of course, we need to make the general edits in there. And at the bottom here, you can see that I still have the old safe zones running. You need to remove those. If you don't have them, don't worry about it, but this is if you're using the old version. And then what you do is you copy this one line right here and paste it in. That's it now. You're actually done installing the safe zone. It's that easy. Everything's working. But there is one thing that I want to talk to you guys about real quick. If you go back to the custom folder and open the safe zones, you will see that there is a configurations portion here. So this variable here asks if you're using Epoch Admin Tools. If you are, you can turn that to true. If you're using Infistar, you can turn this one to true. Only have one of them true. Don't put both. You don't have to change these either. You can keep, keep everything the same and it will run. But if you change these to true, whichever one you're using, it will actually not turn off your god mode when you enter and leave the safe zones. So if you're an admin and you've got god mode on, you know sometimes if you run into a safe zone and leave, it will shut that god mode off. It won't do that if you use these variables. And then we have a number of other options here. The vehicle god here protects vehicles when in safe zone, which is default true. Detect traders is default true. This usually detects the major three trader cities. So like if it's Chinaris, it will detect Starry and Bash and all that. It will not detect aircraft bandit or hero traders or any of the uh, wholesalers or anything like that. Now it won't always detect them. Some maps don't have the same trader type system, so it won't detect properly. If you realize that it's not finding it on your map, go ahead and turn this to false and you can add your own custom areas in. 
and I'll explain that in a minute. Use custom zones is default false. This is the one I just said where you can add your own custom areas. Like these are the Chinaris zones. Bandit is right here. Hero and aircraft. So if you have this true and you have the custom zones true as well, all three of the trader cities will be protected with this. And on top of that, the bandit hero and aircraft dealer will be protected with the custom zones. Anti-theft, disable stealing from inventory while in the zone. Basically, if you ever try to access your inventory, it will immediately redirect you to yourself, no matter what you're trying to access unless it's the vehicles. And this way, you don't have to worry about people stealing your stuff, but it does allow interaction with friends. So if the person is your friend, it will let you look in their, in their bags. AI shield here is default false, and it basically just removes any AI units that are around the zone when a player is inside. This is the distance at which it will remove the AI, which is default 100. The zombie shield will remove any zombies close to the player. The default distance is 20, so they'll still come into the zone, but when they're near a player, they'll be completely deleted from the server. This distance is best to be kept low, because a lot of players in a zone will mean a lot of checks. The only reason the AI distance is so large is because you don't want AI close to the city shooting at players coming in. But this, you could even put it down to 5 and things would be fine. But I suggest not going any higher than 30. Speed limits here enforces a speed limit for vehicles inside. These are ground vehicle only. And it helps to stop players from pushing other players out of the zone to kill them. The default speed limit is 35. You can raise or lower it as you want. This does not cause bounce back like the Maka safe zones did. I don't know if you ever fixed it, but back when I played a lot with those zones, if you would go inside and you're going too fast, it would literally bounce you way back out of the zone. This will slowly decrease your speed. That way you don't get any of that bouncing or annoyances like that. Use hints basically is at the top right corner where the debug menu usually is, where you see like player stats or server stats. That's where the hint shows up in that brown box there. If you want enters and exits to display up there, you can turn this to true. Otherwise, it's going to display at the bottom of the screen. This part is where it gets a little tricky for some people. They don't know how to find these coordinates. So I'm going to show you how to do that real fast. If you go back into your map file here where you've got your init and everything, you need to open up the mission SQM. Of course, I recommend Notepad++ or something like Atom. They're both basically the same. I suggest not using normal Notepad or else things could get a little annoying. So when you're in here, you need to basically just find what areas you want to save stone. So let's say that we need... It doesn't automatically detect Starry, which it will. I know it will. So let's look for Starry. You can Control F or Edit Find. And you can see that we found Trader City Starry right here. So this is the position for it. Grab all the numbers, copy it, and bring it back over here. And we're going to construct a place for Starry. So we'll go ahead and copy one of the items and paste it. We want this numbers that we just grabbed to go right here where these are. You can delete everything in there so it just looks like this and then paste the numbers in there. And you can comment that this is starry. Now it's important to note where these commas are. The last one can't have a comma. So you see how this one, how it was before it said no comma on last line. And again right here always leave off the last comma or this will break. No comma on the bottom part here. It's the very last one every other one needs one. If we go back to not having all of that there, you'll see that again the last one has no comma. That is incredibly important. If you don't have that set up right, it will break. Now this number here is also important. It is the radius of the zone. So if you want the safe zone to be 100 meters, then it will be. If you want it to be larger, let's say just make it slightly larger, we can throw a 50 in there so it's now 50 meters larger. 
But let's say that, you know, Starry is working. We know Starry Trader is good for this. And since we're on Trinaris, we need other ones. So let's say we want the wholesalers. So do we want both of them or just one? Well, let's do both. So I'll go ahead and just start by setting it up here. Throw in the two commas that we're going to need. Remember, last one has no comma. We'll make this one uh, Wholesaler West and then Wholesaler East. So we'll grab, oh, well it's South and East. We'll grab South. And again, right here we need to remove just what's in the brackets. You need to keep the brackets themselves. Paste the new numbers in there. Grab the other wholesaler. And do the same thing. And now we've just added to the two wholesalers along with the original Bandit Hero and Aircraft. But that's all you need to know for this. If you have any questions on it, let me know. This zone itself is written by analyzing AGN, Maka, Infastar, and another a number of others like it. Again, I took the best of all of them, rewrote it all into a new system so that it's incredibly fast, reliable, and has the smallest amount of server load possible. Thank you guys for watching, and just leave some comments if you need any help.